so for work i go into uh i go to people's houses and uh it's monday after a funeral i'm a little hungover my like second patient of the day it's like i don't know 10 15 in the morning she opens her she's in an apartment complex right off line street okay, right. and uh she opens her front door but the screen door's still there and there is glass in between us technically okay she, she pops that boy and the the ammonia the cat urine it just hits me <gasps> i have to obtain Oof. some information from this woman she says come on in and i begrudgingly Oof. maskless say okay <laughs> She Your walks deeper into this hellhole, and it is so potent that I'm like, and I'm like, two seconds. I've only had to run out of a patient's house one time, but this lady, I was getting pretty close because it's early in the morning. I hadn't eaten breakfast yet, and it smells so bad. Uh, can I ask when is the other time you've had to run out of a patient's house? I tell you this one. I think I told you this one before. Uh, this one was terrible. So I am in North Philly. I get a uh, Steve's, Prince Steve's cheesesteak. I paid the full $17 awful, for awful. it. So good with a soda. $16. Overrated, $16. awful steak. Continue. Nice, delicious belly full of it. Have you ever been around a person who weighs over 400 pounds? Yes. They have a distinct smell. Now, if you've Very ever been around so. more than one person who weighs over 400 pounds, you'll oh. find that the smell is the same no matter who they are. This is a common thing yeah. that happens yeah. to you. You get over about... It's like the smell of skin consistently rubbing together. Mm -hmm. It's not good. You can also throw in the aspect that this patient was a female. So I go into her room. Oh, She's God. sitting on the edge of a bed, and I oh. have to... Ooh. Bend down and get near this machine to like read the hours oh, and check no. the. And I have a, a nice sixteen dollar belly full of delicious cheesesteak meat that I just paid for. <laughs> and I I have the whiff of it because I've known I've I've met a few of these. The smell is common. I'm like I can handle this. As I get closer to the machine, I couldn't. Uh, and I have to ask questions, get answers. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I just bolt down the stairs, out the front door, and I start just puking in the street. Oh my god. And I'm like, God. Damn. And the kid who's standing on the sidewalk, he's like, what? What are you doing? I was like, that fucking lady you reached. He's like, how are you going to talk about my aunt like that? And I was like, <laughs> he's like, nah, I just fucking read out of my aunt. <laughs> uh, so he knows about Stinky Brenda, too? And I had to call them. I called the, I did not go back in the house. Nor, like, recontact the patient. I, like, called the office. I was like, you owe me $15. And uh, I'm not going back in the lady's house. Oh, my God.